We are not out of it yet. Another voluntary evacuation order is in effect right now in Camarillo Springs. It impacts a mobile home park on Irina Avenue and more than 100 homes on San Como Lane, Gitana Avenue, and Itamo Street. News Channel 3 reporter Kelsey Gerkins has the latest on the situation there. The whole thing's been so frustrating. Of course, Christmas is coming, and I've had to put that on the back burner. More than 100 homes in the Camarillo Springs retirement community are bracing for another storm. The community is under voluntary evacuation orders as officials prepare for the threat of a mudslide. This Camarillo Springs neighborhood experienced last Friday the damage a storm like this could cause. That storm brought down enough mud and rocks to completely destroy 10 homes and damage dozens more. It's a massive destruction. It feels almost like a war zone. And after the fire, the Springs fire, when everything was black, and you thought that couldn't get any worse, and then to see all this. These hills became so fragile following the Springs fire in May of 2013. Fire burned away a lot of the vegetation and roots and everything that had a lot of the debris or soil in place. The Springs fire burn area reaches all the way to the Pacific Coast Highway, another spot highly impacted by these storms. Last Friday's storm created more than a dozen mudslides on the PCH. Caltrans says the damage is so severe it will take them about a month to clean up. Sagamore Canyon was the hardest hit area of the Pacific Coast Highway. Here, the mud stretched more than 500 feet long and it was several feet high. After a few days of cleanup efforts, you can see just how much mud came off the hillside. At this point, we're just advising the public to stay out of the area. Things are still kind of unstable and still dangerous, so we're just keeping everybody out of the area. The parks are closed and we're still under assessment, and that's really all we have at this point. While the PCH is closed for the next month, the California Highway Patrol advises all drivers to take Highway 101 as an alternate route. Reporting on the PCH, Kelsey Gerkins, News Channel.